Many of the topics that we had been discussing beginning from sequence, series, mathematical induction, the Pascal triangle, the combination formula, all of that, all of that is going to have a finale. And the finale is the binomial theorem. There are many bits and pieces of knowledge that is in math, but the more important uh, bodies of knowledge are given a name. They are given a title. And so the binomial theorem is one of those uh, title, one of those title that is made to describe a fundamental and a very important theorem in mathematics. We call that the binomial theorem. That is the finale. We are not yet there. We are almost there. We may have to devote two more videos to finally get there. We are almost there. Okay. So last time and two videos ago, we started talking about the Pascal triangle and the combination formula. In this video, we shall merge them together. We shall show the connection between the Pascal triangle and the combination formula. This is the combination formula. How do you read this? You read this as n taken r or n combination r and that is equal to n factorial divided by the quantity n minus r factorial times r factorial. And so this now is the connection between the combination formula and the Pascal triangle. Okay, so let us again recall the Pascal triangle. This triangle contains the numerical coefficients. When you expanded the binomial x plus y raised to an integer exponent, any non-zero real number raised to zero is just one. This one, x plus y raised to one, is just x plus y. And obviously, the numerical coefficients are 1 and 1. This one, this one is... So that is the binomial expansion of x plus y squared. These numerical coefficients, 1, 2, and 1. These are the, co the coefficients in the leading term, 1. This is 2. And then that is one. So that is how you interpret the numbers in your Pascal triangle. Now, this is where the combination formula will come in. Look at that. X plus Y raised to zero. It is equal to one. And guess what? That is just equal to zero taken zero. Let us show it. Okay, so this is going to be zero minus zero is a zero factorial. And then times zero factorial. Okay. But what is that equal to? Again, that is not equal to zero. Okay, so this is part of the definition of this function. It's one over one times one. So it's just equal to one. Okay, so how about this? X plus Y raised to one. The numerical coefficients of the terms is just, this one is one taken zero. And this one is one taken one. Okay, let us show it. Let us show How about one taken one? One. How about x plus y raised to two? So the, the coefficient of the leading term is one, but that is just two taken zero. And this one is just two taken one, and that one is two taken two. So this is the pattern here. The numbers in your Pascal triangle can be, can be generated using our combination formula. The numerical coefficients of x plus y cubed, they can be generated using 3 taken 0, 3 taken 1, 3 taken 2, 3 taken 3. It is not really that daunting. It's not a daunting task really. Why? Because it has a pattern. If this has no pattern, this is a big thing to do, but it has a pattern. Look at the pattern. When we are expanding x plus y raised to 6, look at the numerical coefficients using your combination formula. 6 taken 0, 6 taken 1, 6 taken 2, so on and so forth. So there is a pattern to this. There is a logic to this, and that will help us produce the numerical coefficients and expand your 
polynomial, your binomial raised to an integer exponent. Now, if we are going to expand x plus y raised to 6, so you will have a polynomial of degree 6. You have 7. You have 7 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you know what? Using the sigma notation, this is summation, by the way, using the sigma notation, you can write the polynomial in this way. Summation of 6 taken r times x raised to 6 minus r times y raised to r. r ranges from 0 to 6. That is how you read it. Again, that is a pattern here. r starts from 0 to 6. Look at this. What is the pattern here? Okay, so some students who are new to the binomial expansion, they might be a bit overwhelmed by remembering what ought to be the exponents. But you know, the exponents should be such that when you add the exponents, it's going to be equal to n or to the degree of your polynomial. So look at this. 6 minus r plus r, that's 6, which is the degree of your polynomial. So in general, x plus y raised to n, in fact, this is the binomial theorem. This is the binomial theorem, okay? x plus y raised to n is equal to the summation of, okay, this is your combination formula, n taken r times this, where r ranges from 0 to n. This is actually already your binomial theorem, but we will return to that and we will prove it. Okay, so let us write the expansion of x plus y raised to 5 without the help of your Pascal triangle. We will do this using your combination formula. So this is how we write it. Summation of 5 taken r. r ranges from 0 to 5 times x raised to 5 minus r times y raised to r. How about the first term? What is the first term of this polynomial? 5 taken 0 times x raised to 5. When r is 0, y raised to 0, look at that. y raised to 0 is just 1. What is the second term? You know now the second term. The second term is 5 taken 1 or plus 5 taken 1 times x to the 4. Okay, why 4? Because 5 minus 1 is 4. And the power of y is 1. What is the third term? It's 5 taken 2. And then times x raised to 5 minus 2, y raised to 2. Again, that is the pattern. This is how we expand the uh, integer exponent or integer power of a binomial x plus y, so on and so forth. Okay, the next task now is to see what is the actual value of 5 taken 0, 5 taken 1, so on and so forth. 5 taken 0 is 1. Okay, so let us show it. Okay, so 0 factorial is 1. 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial is also 1. So this is just 1. 5 taken 1. Let us uh, show how to compute for 5 taken 1. 5. 5 minus 1 is 4 factorial. So that one is equal to 5 times 4 factorial over... 4 factorial. Okay, how about the third term? The third term is 5 taken 2. So 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And so we can produce these coefficients using the combination formula. Without the combination formula, we need the Pascal triangle to write out the expansion of a binomial raised to an exponent. But, but with the combination formula, we can produce the expansion of a binomial using the help of the combination formula, n taken r. 